everyone, it is Liam Caddison here and we're watching episode number 25 of Lucifer season 3. Uh, this is the first of the two bonus episodes that came along with the supposed ending of Lucifer before Netflix saved them and um, acquired them for seasons um, four, five, and uh, the upcoming sixth season. So it will be very interesting to see what does happen in this episode, because as much as I would want it to be this um, scenario, I sadly don't think we're going to have an exploration into the extended reactions of Chloe finding out about Lucifer and um, just episode 24 in general. So, um, yeah, and as I had expected, quite a few people stated their um, grievances with what happened uh, with um, Lucifer when it was like on, like when it was um, live for them watching the closing moments of episode 24 of season three and knowing that was where the finish line was. I would be absolutely devastated and angry uh, as well so yeah um but um thankfully we've got uh, a few more seasons to go through so um yeah i will be looking forward to seeing how we do explore uh, seasons four five and um six when we do get around to that but um yeah uh intrigued to see what this episode is all about so with that said let's get into episode number 25 of season three for lucifer let's go Morning, Jane. <laughs> Talk about a buzzer beater last night, am I right? Bam! Oh, Bam. look. Morning. Look at, look at Ella. Oh, I like your hair today. I, I do love, you know, the cozy reception that Don't Ella break, gives away. The bookend made her woozy, right? And then oh, okay. she stumbled, slipped on this toy train, grabbed this chair, fell back. Hit her head on this table and bang! That's what killed her. Oh, okay. Eleven out of ten. That's another reason why I shouldn't leave. Crime scenes would be so dull. For the ex Thank exactly, you. exactly. There's more. Yeah. Well, we think Felix got here shortly after Beth was killed, so we'd like to speak to him, see if he saw anything. Well, that might be tough. Yeah, he, might, he might be scared Felix of what he saw, but shy. He struggles with communication, social skills. Oh. That's why he was seen back and Beth. I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, with her. okay. I mean, she's helped Felix so much. He's thriving in school. It's over. The part with you in it. It's just, it's a little too weird. Okay, so please just go away. Just go for what? it. Wait, um, what? Should I come back another time? No. Good. What? I'm all good. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm fantastic actually. Just you know, um... talking to myself. Yeah. Well, that should made a mad dash. Okay. Ghosts are pretty freaking cool, and you being able to see them makes you extra freaking special. Okay, first of all, holy I see shoot, a ghost. a ghost, you, and yes, as a kid, I did feel special. Okay, but special or not, it's not normal. Since when do you hear about that? Normal is. Oh my goodness. Since Detroit. I mean, yeah, normal we is agree, boring. agree, both of us, that this wasn't. When this case is over, you will go away again. Fine. This you is a very, okay, very interesting turn of events. Low. Cool, man. You won't even notice I'm here. Okay. I looked away oh, for no one, one else second, will. man. How could I possibly know what she was planning? Then that's uh, very, very, um, you were tasked with escorting peculiar, the but let's roll away. with it. It's really bad. I gotta find that girl, Lucifer. And I wouldn't be here if I wasn't desperate, so... You can help oh me Oh my not. goodness. Of course, I'm gonna see Daniel. old Lucy and Dad. Make fun of me all day? Of course, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Not hiding it whatsoever. Okay. Dude, weren't you into that? I was into cosplay, actually. Right. Yeah. Hard to keep that track would be of all your hobbies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had all those hobbies to distract Very from different the voice in my head. Fields, AKA right. you. I don't think this is gonna work, guys. Just ask. <laughs> Oh no! Pardon me. Chloe's a fair. Oh Do you know my god. Name Wesley? <laughs> Anyone named Wesley? Oh no, I ain't getting anywhere near that. Oh! Hey, what are you doing? What the heck? Oh, is she, was she challenged? Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, 
Okay, she thinks she's back, right. <laughs> right in the park? I just needed to calm down after everything I saw. Do you think I'm stupid? Kinda. Oh, oh no! The Stop trap her. is ta- Oh my Somebody goodness. Stop her. Where do you think you're going? Don't worry, Daniel. I've got her. But it's still gonna take off, right? Uh, wait. <laughs> Insults my family except for me. Oof. And they need me. They don't need you. They use you. And the people out here, they see how kind you are, but they this don't take the, advantage that of you. She'd be stripped away here from know everything about me. Her okay, they don't know area, about I guess. you. But my family does. They know and they still love me. You know, the way I oh. look at it is you always looked out for everybody, but I think you deserve someone looking out for you for once. Where are you hiding? Nobody can see you. <laughs> and plus she could just walk through the walls. Oh no. Oh, that will work. Where's, where's Becky? Oh, that little girl is so helpful. She's the one who introduced me to Gemma, actually. Yeah, she just ran off to get us a couple of churros. Oh. Uh oh. You got played. In your face. She read you like a book all day long. You're making fun of me for getting duped by a kid, and you lost her too. To bribe her to change that recommendation, it still sounds like motive. Well, it does, to be fair. I was teaching ninth grade chamber class when Beth was murdered. You, you can call the school. I want to believe him, but I... If actually true, then we're back to Bupkis. Well, unless Dan got a lead. But are you going to help us or not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have just... got to make this kid. She's never gonna let let live this down, though. That's the that's the beauty of it. Lucifer said to put it on his tab. How old are you? This old? Wow. Oh, oh, hey, stop. Easy, easy. I just said I did so I could skip class. <laughs> I'm in major trouble, huh? Look, Beckett. I mean, Everyone she's she's mistakes. done a lot of. As long as we learn from them. She's done a lot of shady stuff in this episode. Now tell me the truth from the beginning. So Becky was lying. Trouble, so. Yes, ma'am. So I didn't exactly tell Chloe the whole story. Ah, no need. We all make mistakes. <clears throat> Cheers. Oh, I love. I kind of love this. With dried blood from the victim to boot. Oh! I really wish you hadn't found that. Bloody hell! She's got a shield! Lower the bat, Anthony. He doesn't have a life. Play the violin more. That's not normal. You're right. Who That's who gives normal. you the right it's to say amazing. to define, and you that's know what makes him special? You don't have any right to dictate his life. Put your just hands be behind your back. It wasn't imaginary. She was real because she felt so, so real to me. And that's when she told me she was a this ghost. This is a huge admission. So uh... I have a friend who's a ghost. Don't think you're crazy. Honestly, I have seen a lot of crazier things. Oh, and you're going to. A lot. And besides, there is nothing that, that you could tell me that would change the way I feel about you. Come here. Oh, there's that nice wolf. Are you okay? And she was really worried and... Say I'm just a friend who's got your back. Well, I suppose... That's her first. You can check on my back. You know, once in a while. But... Seriously, don't spy on me in the shower. Deal. <laughs> well, see you later, Lopez. Oh. Well, hello, Asriel. What, too cool to call me Ray Ray anymore? 
Well, endearing me. Oh! I have siblings who didn't abandon me for millennia, so. Asriel! I oh, didn't shit. abandon you. I've been busy. Oh. I mean, you try being the angel of death. A lot of people. But you started a freaking rebellion, Lucifer. Nobody's perfect. We said to Dan. I suppose you're right. This is that. this is very very but interesting. And now... now, and how does Miss Lopez know of you? Oh, that. But don't worry, I'm not dead. I have no qualms with you interacting with humans. <laughs> well, come on. I didn't do it for you. I did it for her. Well, both of you, I guess. See, oh since no. I couldn't really be with her, <clears throat> and I couldn't be with you. I thought at least two of my favorite people could. Be together. Me. Oh my goodness. Boom. Oh. <sighs> that that was not that was not something to to that I was expecting. The DNA, right? But with the regular wood, the cells get soaked up, kind of like a like a parasite fusing. It's taking an interest, like and it's so so nice. Oh man, that's that's so great. That's so wholesome. Not gonna lie, especially since um um Azriel put her on uh put Ella on Lucifer's track because well she had that she couldn't she couldn't be you know there um and she thought that Lucifer and two of her favorite people. Someone she grew um, an attachment for. And um, her brother, yeah. They deserved that chance to make each other happy. So, because, you know, they made her happy. So, damn, that was not something I was expecting. I thought, okay, well, Ella's got this uh, interesting, um, um, I, I, I guess, ability that we've never, oddly enough, touched upon in the show before and we've heard we've we've of course had uh mention of Azrael before of course in this show um so yeah i was i i i um was not expecting that so but it was honestly such a great episode um I don't know, like, where exactly this fits in, like, uh, especially with um, season three and whatnot. Because, uh, like I said, I feel like if you're going to have a post, um, uh, like, I guess episode from episode uh, 24, you'll want to focus on the whole Lucifer and uh, Chloe reaction. Like, you want to uh, delve into that. Um, though... They were they were pretty much separated uh, for the entire episode with Lucifer partnering with Dan in some comedical moments and um, Ella and Chloe and it was great because of the fact that I don't I th I think it's um you know you it's it's like we haven't gotten an episode that has had Chloe and uh, Ella working together through the majority like just them two alone uh yeah we've had some moments between them but um I think this is a great uh like from those small moments we know that they've got a great relationship anyways and it's great to see that explored especially with how Ella's worried about how um well, what she perceives as her, I guess, uh, special ability, because now we know the truth about Azrael, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, she's just worried that that's going to, like, um, bring about some uncomfortable vibes with, with Chloe. She doesn't want to lose that grip, and uh, it, it, it was really heartbreaking, like, seeing how Ella was so worried about how everyone else would, would feel, like, oh, I've got this special thing, uh, with me and there's that driving worry that oh people are just going to like want to be done with me because they'll think I'm weird and all of that and honestly this episode really hit home on that aspect because I wasn't sure if um like especially with some of the traits uh, and whatnot I wasn't sure like if uh, Felix was on the autistic spectrum 
because of the communi- I, I, I say that because of the communication issues, his uh, special interests, um, kind of like how I have special interests. And there is the fact that this episode spoke about normality and how if you are perceived as other than that, it's not a bad thing. And I know that from experience. Normal is like not, you don't have to be normal Basically, you can have a, a few quirks about you. I know that I tend to have a few quirks about me, um, uh, especially with my autism. And uh, there's always been that worry about acceptance as well, that I am completely different, that I am something something else, and that I'm, um, you know, not your ordinary, um, I guess, 26-year-old geek. Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> It's always been a worry about um, hoping that people can come to an acceptance that I will have, um, I will have certain traits about me. But at the end of the day, I just want to be like Ella, just be a vibrant light to, to, to people. So, uh, and I really like how this episode spoke about how, you know, normality doesn't define how amazing of a person you are in the eyes of others. Like, uh, you can you can be. You can't, you can, like, avoid the normality and, you know, be eccentric or whatnot or uh, have um, a quirk about you. And that's still okay. So I really like how this episode did speak uh, volumes about how, um, you know, you don't have to be normal to be um, accepted and whatnot. So it was, it was really, really... Uh, uh, good to have that um but yeah um it was a really great episode especially with the whole um uh, case of the week scenario especially with um dan and lucifer uh, tracking um someone who who they um associated to be uh, involved with the whole uh, murder affair um and it was just really amazing like it was really amazing uh just seeing becky try to outsmart well she didn't just try she did actually outsmart dan and lucifer uh, and then and then you just have maze just not left uh, le like she's not living this down whatsoever and it's so great so yeah but um it was it was just so great to see more dan and lucifer i really love their uh, connection anyways and it was really, really fun stuff to see um, just the shenanigans Lucifer would pull, especially playing on Dan's um, dislikes, I guess, for roller coasters. And um, not just that, though, but them two having a moment at the end, um, especially when Lucifer admits that um, we all make mistakes. And uh, there was that warmth uh, when we concluded their side of things. Um and I don't know, I feel like um, that could come in, uh, like, th like there were some, whether this was like a post episode from episode 24, or whether it was somewhere um, like an, an expanded universe, I guess, episode that fits somewhere in, in season three. Uh, there were there were some obvious uh, obvious references to episode number um, 24, especially with the whole reveal uh, to Chloe. Um, Especially Ella and her admission. Because there was a part of me that was worried. It's going to be so interesting how Ella's going to say, I speak to ghosts and um, I, I, I worry about how you're going to take it. And then Lucifer, of course, uh, flaunts about the fact that he's the devil and Chloe's like, yeah. Um, but I feel like with the way that Lucifer and Ella portray their reveals, there's a, a complete difference. Um, you saw how Ella was so worried with this reveal and how Chloe would think of her. And you had Chloe become so wholesome with the fact that she would, uh, like, not only do, do I um, find that um, something that can be believable, but also I don't want to lose you as well. Like it would be, it would be sad if you moved away. Um, you and and I feel like this episode did a very good job as well at you know showing that Ray, uh, that um Ray Ray. Um, it's so funny because I'm saying because uh, I'm saying Elle is a ray of sunshine and you got Ray Ray. So yeah, but that's it though. She is a vibrant light and she put a positive impact on every like you even saw at the beginning how people were just so so like welcoming of of uh, ella's 
um, vibrance and uh, that was resonating with uh, Chloe. Chloe, knowing that Ella was thinking about, should I stay or should I go? She was, um, yeah, pretty upset about the prospect of of potentially losing Ella because she is a very, very um, fundamental cog in, in this um, upbeat atmosphere. Um, and that's it. So I really, I did really like the fact that we had uh, Chloe and Ella work together, especially with Chloe um, um, very upset about the prospect of um, potentially um, losing Ella. So yeah, but um, it was a really, really good episode. Uh, I just really was astounded by the reveal of, which makes sense, Ray as real. Hey, eh? um, but yeah, I was just astonished because I was not seeing that coming whatsoever. Like I said, I thought, okay, this is a a thing with Ella, um, which is not you know too hard to believe because of the fact that, uh, well, look at w what kind of world we live in. We have we have hell, we have heaven. Yeah, uh, we we just dealt with Cain. We just dealt with the first um the world's first murderer. So, uh, who's had that immortality in him. So it wouldn't be too hard to believe that Ella can, like, it, like, it would be, I don't know, more questionable, I'd say, if she had an, um, if she could speak to any, uh, ghost. Not in terms of, oh, this is too impossible, but the fact that, like I said, we never, um, we never touched upon this before, and, um, we are coming into the, uh, two bonus episodes before, of course, uh, Lucifer was shipped to Netflix. And you you question otherwise, why was this not elaborated on uh, before? But I feel like, especially with Ella's story and how uh, she had that, um, I guess, NDE. Um, yeah, it, 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 well, not just does it make sense in terms of uh, Ella's perspective, but now that we know that Azriel is the angel of death and was, uh, was moved by uh, Ella and uh, the warmth she provides... Um, yeah, it, it, it just adds uh, not just a great layer on Ella's story, but um, it, you know, it's it's a it's a great thing to, to include. So um, and this is it, though. I love Ella like Ella's an amazing character. So I'm always happy that we are getting more with her character, more um, layers to her backstory. And uh, this was another case of that with her. Like I said, that NDE, I guess she had um, and how. You had Ray. You had Ray, who who was not happy with what was going to happen with Ella being taken away, especially with the fact that she paired off Lucifer and um, Ella together in terms of being on the same path. Which uh, Lucifer, of course, making back that reference to uh, God and how uh, he put Chloe in his life, and he's always seen that as a manipulative tactic. But um, I feel like with um, with what Ray did, he he's just worried that oh, Azrael's just basically gonna be a chip of the old block, basically. Uh, but Azrael wanted that happiness uh, for both um, Lucifer and Ella. She she saw what she couldn't have at the minute, uh, and thought, okay, well, I can make these two uh, people's lives uh, better because there is that spark that they both have, and I feel like. Um, uh, uh, the w one can benefit from the other and vice versa. They both can benefit from each other. So um, I really, really loved that. And the reveal was really incredible as well. Just, yeah, like I said, it was just, it was just something that you just, I, well, I didn't expect whatsoever, but here we are. So um, yeah, but yeah, I really, really loved... I really loved that ending scene as well of Lucifer taking an interest in, in Ella, like, realising the gift that Asriel um, provided to 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 both each other, actually. Um, and he's embracing that, so... But also with Chloe's, like, uh, understanding as well um, and how distraught she was about the prospect that Ella was uh, going to leave. So, yeah, it was a really great episode. Um... And yeah, I just really love exploring, uh, l like exploring this episode, uh, not just with the crime of the week, not just with the big reveal, but also with Ella's character as well. Like I said, she's a character that I love so much. She's wholesome and she is 
um she she really does um impact me in a very positive way um like she does with the people surrounding her and that's because her character is so so likable and she's so adorable and yeah she is just really really amazing so uh i really appreciate the fact that we got more layers into ella's uh story and uh in a very very interesting way as well so um yeah but yeah this episode was a barrel of fun um from dan and lucifer the reveal even the furry stuff was <laughs> was crazy um it was it was a yeah, really really good bonus episode and, and uh yeah great stuff especially with you know how it spoke about normality and um it embraces the idea that hey you can be eccentric you can uh, have a trait about you that um you know ignorance might claim as oh that's um that's weird and um you know they speak to you in a very very uh condescending attitude because because i'm weird and I embrace it because boo normal, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, it really spoke well about how, you know, there is that acceptance for anything uh, other than normal, I guess, uh, especially in, in people's perception. Like they could uh, see this as like, um, they could see this as something other than normal. And there is that worry that people are going to judge you. And I'm glad that this episode embraced the fact that you shouldn't be judged just because you're not normal, so... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!